Hey guys, Mitch here with the Audio Dabble YouTube channel and today I'm going to take a look at Tardigrain and just really dive into what notes it's actually playing when you record a sample in. And so my setup is I have Tardigrain over here, I have Tunable over here so that I can just quickly generate some tones in here and know exactly what tone that I put in here and then I can monitor exactly what notes being played. And so let's just do that. Let's uh, turn that off. Make sure I have everything kind of set normal. And we'll turn this pitch compensation off because that's going to come and play in just a minute. And I'm going to record in a G right here. So I'm just going to hit record. And now we have a G. And that's what we recorded in. So let's see, just see what happens when we press a note. Well, that's what we're getting. We're getting a G, but we're playing a C. And so how Tardigrain, how, I haven't done an actual tutorial on Tardigrain, but how everything works is you have these six pads here, and when you click on a pad, that is saying that it is in C. If you click on the edit chord mode, then you can turn it into C major or C minor, and then you can either have it do a triad up the octave like that or you can have it do a seventh chord or you can have it do the whole major scale and vice versa you can have it with minor scale minor seventh or a minor chord just like that and so I'm just going to keep it on C major and I'm going to have it on the C major scale but you can change each of these however you want to <clears throat> and so this is a C but it's playing a G because that's the key that we court recorded in. So how do we get this to play a G or get this G to be a C because we want to know if we're in C, then we're playing a C right here. Well, you have to turn on this change pitch with window option right here, and then you need to tune the sample. So I'm going to tune it down to a G, and now when I play this, it should give me a C over here. It does. And so how this is, how it works is whenever you record a sample in and you have this no pitch compensation option selected, what it's going to do is take this keyboard here, let me delete some of my notes from earlier. So this is just a standard keyboard and it's going to put it on C. So if you recorded a G, an A, a B, a hum, whatever you want to, it's going to put it in middle C basically and then when you play the next note up on the keyboard on Tardigrain, then it's going to just transpose it up a whole step, a whole step, half, whole, whole, just and make that the major scale but it's not going to it's going to disregard this being C and it's just going to say oh well whatever note that you played in whether it's a G or an A or whatever then that's going to be your root note for the C and so that's why whenever we play a C here we get a G okay and if we tune this then when we play a C we actually get a C we actually get an A we actually get an F sharp. Okay, so how could you go about if you don't have a tone generator or you don't want to use this and say you just want to hum and then make a nice little pad out of a hum, how do I get that tuned? Well, let's go over that. So I'm just going to delete that. I'm going to hum into a microphone. Hmm. Okay, so I was in G again, basically. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn this to C because that if you start a new um, tardigrain, it's going to be in C. And so if I have this on C and that on C and I play this, I'm getting a G. But I don't want a G. I hummed a G, but I don't want a G. So I'm getting the same G right here. But I don't want that. So what I can do is turn this on, make sure that this is set to... C major 
hit the little infinity icon, I can hold it, and now what I can do is have a tuner handy and just tune this until I get this note right here to a C of my liking. So that's pretty. pretty close there's variations in it but that's pretty close to what I want so now when I play a C I get a C and when I play an A I get an A so that is really really nice and that's does that not sound my, my hum does not sound that good but I simply hummed in this thing let me turn on some reverb so that's just, I mean, that was simple, and now we have an actual tuned hum, and it was. It was easy, so you just need to make sure that you put on the change pitch window and then tune, and the, my best practice would be just to have set this first pad to a C, hold it down, and then tune it, and have a tuner handy so that you can actually see the note, and then once it's tuned, you can save it, and it will keep that, so let's say hummy right here, oops, hummy, and so now hummy is set to G24, if I go here and I set like strings and then I go back to hummy you can see that it's still set to G24 and that is how you tune tardigrain to whatever key or scale or whatever it is that you want to use all relative links are in the description thanks for watching guys and have a great day